Big thanks to Masterbuild for sponsoring this video. I'm going to show you how to get an extra crispy crust on your beef ribs called bark. You might have heard of bark before, or you might have never heard of bark before and think, what is this guy talking about? Well, if you do know what bark is about, you know it's the good stuff. It's that magic part that sits on the outside of whatever you cooked on the barbecue and it turned crispy and absolutely delicious. So now you know what bark is. But how do you make bark on the outside of your food? There's a way that I learned from people that do competition style barbecue, but also it's applied in South America or even in the French kitchens. So it's tested, it is proved and I'm gonna show you how to do it. These are beef ribs, but not just any beef ribs. They basically are the waste among beef ribs. There are a lot of sections in the cow that can be called beef ribs, but these beef ribs, they kind of sit like somewhere at the bottom of the belly and there's a lot of fat in there. There's a lot of waste. My butcher personally always transfers this cut into burgers. Now I do not like that. I like burgers but I'd rather make my own burgers, I would rather save this cut and turn it into something delicious, like they do in Argentina, where they roast this sucker. And that's because the Argentinians are not afraid to put in a little bit of effort to create something delicious. And for flavor, I'm giving you my Pitmaster X barbecue beef rub, consisting of two tablespoons of fleur de sel, two tablespoons of coarse ground black pepper, one tablespoon of paprika powder, one tablespoon of onion powder, and half a tablespoon of garlic powder. Mix that up and your steak rub is done. Of course, you can find this recipe on pitmasterx.com. And when you want a good crunch, you're gonna need something to crunch up, so, we're going to take that barbecue beef wrap and we're going to make a thick layer of it as possible on these beef ribs. And therefore, I'm gonna put some mustard on these beef ribs. And that mustard is gonna work like an adhesive, but it's also gonna give off a really nice mustard sour flavor. That's gonna work super well with these beef ribs and this is gonna allow for a big fat bark. Once you got that nice layer on, it's time to put Pitmaster X's barbecue beef rub on, get it nice and sticky. Now, of course, you know where to get this. It's always on pitmasterx.com. You can make this at home with ingredients straight from your local supermarket. As you can see, this already looks good. Nice thick layers that's gonna crunch up when the heat is applied. So let's fire up the master build smoker. The master build smoker is a gravity fed smoker, which means we need to load this charcoal chute with some master build lump charcoal. Then light it up with these wool fire starters, which I'm gonna place at the bottom of the charcoal chute. A little bit of fire, close the door, turn on the barbecue and set the temperature to smoke at 140 degrees Celsius. I'm going to be smoking this at 140 degrees Celsius and not at lower temperatures because I want bark, I want a crunch. So we need the outside to dry up. And that's why this charcoal shoot and this barbecue is so important. Basically, hot air is run with a vent through this big chamber and out of the back. And that means high airflow, high temperatures. So first I'm going to start off with 140 degrees Celsius. Now that the master build is up to temperature, I'm going to open up the ashtray and I'm going to add some smoke chunks. These are whiskey barrel smoke chunks. I'm going to put in three of them and the ash is going to fall down from the chute and it's going to ignite those chunks and it's going to create smoke in our barbecue. Now let's put these gorgeous looking beef ribs on. As you can see, we'll have a lot of smoke. I'm gonna put it at the highest position. There we go. Perfect fit for the master build. I'm gonna put in a thermometer. That way I can keep an eye on the temperature while I sit in my lawn chair. I'm gonna close the lid and then comes the magic trick. I'm gonna raise up the temperature even further. I'm going to go for 160 degrees Celsius. And that is a roasting temperature. Roasting the meat, rendering down the fat creating a crunchy crust on the outside. This is gonna be so good. The ribs are done. And look at them. Cooked to a core temperature of 92 degrees Celsius. This is so crunchy. Let's put them on the board. <laughs> and 
if you're new to uh, bark, you're gonna say, dude, that looks way burnt. I understand that you feel that way, but in reality, this is the good stuff. This is where we unlocked all the secrets. And let me just give you a little bit of insight. All of that crumble and crunchiness, that is the sound of crispy outside cold bark. Now, of course, I need to let this rest. Normally with barbecue stuff, I wrap it up, put it in a cooler, let it sit there for an hour, maybe two hours. Now, uh -uh. if you wrap it up, put it in a cooler, all that moisture is gonna go back in that, into that crust and it's not gonna be as crunchy and dry anymore. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna leave it at the countertop, let the moisture that's still in there evaporate and disappear, getting an even bigger and better crunch. Let it sit. In the meantime, make a sauce. Start by chopping fine some parsley, some spring onion, some chili peppers. Bring your cast iron pan up to temperature. Melt around 125 grams of butter. Add the chili peppers to the butter. Let them fry until the butter turns a light brown. Then add the parsley and the spring onions. Sprinkle on two tablespoons of that barbecue rub and your sauce is done. And it's not a sauce that you're just gonna like dunk things into. It's something that you dress on top of. And of course, we were really careful to preserve that crust. And this is a sauce that you can put on without destroying the crust after it's done resting. Look at that. Let's slice into this. Oh, oh, oh God, it's a work to get through that crunch. And let's see what it looks like on the inside. Oh, big fat crunch, juicy beef, red smoke ring. This is absolutely amazing. Now, if that doesn't look good, I don't know what does. Absolutely juicy beef ribs. Look, you can just tear them apart. Not too hard on the pull, like there's a pull there. Not too much though. Mm. Oh, Ooh. chilies. Woo! Maybe if you're doing the chilies with the butter and um, you like spicy, this is the good stuff. If you're not on the spicy, just tone it down a little <laughs> a bit. <laughs> I had to try it with chilies. This is awesome stuff. Seriously, I could take away the beef ribs and just eat the crust, the bark, on its own. You know, people say, oh, that's chili pepper. Can I buy this separately? A jar of bark. Yeah, a jar of bark. Seriously, if, if there's somebody out there that, that wanna start a restaurant with only bark, do it, please. I'm not inventing anything new. Like I said, this has been done before. Pitmasters do it to build a bark. Hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you did, then let us know. Leave us a big thumbs up. And if you think Martian should wear white and I should wear blue, or switch it up, let us know too. Switch it up? Yeah, maybe, maybe you should wear blue. Okay, okay, let me know. Thank you guys for watching. Bark. I'm just thinking like, <laughs> I'm so blown away by the bark. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching, hope to see you guys next time. Until then, keep on. It's smart. Like doing that thing that they always no, do. It's smart. It's smart. And keep them real. Real bark. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Colonel mm -hmm. Sanders ain't got nothing on this. Who's Colonel Sanders? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. Woo wee!